traders, FS Percolati here. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on gold, I do believe we are in a wave 3 right now. I think this wave 3 is likely to go up to at least a 161.8, which we almost got there. Now, that's just the minimum of a wave 3. Wave 3s can actually go a lot further than that, but it probably is pretty likely it will start a wave 4 and then potentially go up for a wave 5 to complete the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 pattern that started way back here at the bottom of this ABC Kretzen. So going down to the weekly time frame, the 61.8 also lines up with the 161.8 that I had on the monthly. So that's my target for this wave 3 is probably right around the 2550 area. And then, likely, we probably will make a more significant move to the downside. I think this is a 1, this is a 2, and this is all subdivisions of a wave 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 3. So taking it down to the daily time frame, I think this is all just one big wave 5 right here, at, starting way back here. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is all a wave 5 of wave 5. So I do think we are in the wave 5. I think we have some more upside potential. I'm not really convinced that the trend is over yet. Going down to the 4 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last little push up right here. I'm... Um, Constantly looking for one, two, three waves down for Minazi bounces to go long for the continuation of this bigger, higher time frame uptrend. So, taking it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, it honestly looks like it's already ended a crutch. I mean, I see one, two, three waves down. Most of the other dollar pairs actually look like they need to go down again, which kind of makes me think that this may go down again also. And what actually makes me think that this is a wave A and this is an A, B, C, like a running flat wave B. And potentially it's going to go down again for wave C before it actually goes back up. And that's the reason why correlated pairs are so important, because if I was just looking at gold, I would say, oh, this is the end of the Kretzen, this is just going back up like that, which it definitely, definitely could just keep on going up like that, because we are in a wave 3 at the very high time frames. But because of looking at correlated dollar pairs, I think there's probably a better chance that it's going to drift down, maybe retest one of these lower Fibonacci levels before it actually does end up continuing back up. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked out here in the corner, and as always, thank you and happy trading.